Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. So, when we're talking about Thursday night football, we got the Denver Broncos going to New Orleans to take on the Saints. And in the video, we have four picks for you to consider. So, stay tuned to hear all four of the picks. And if you guys want more picks, join up in the Dynamo Private Discord. I give out more picks in there in all sports, but we have a bunch of other cappers as well, just giving their favorite picks. You can see the last NFL Sunday. I went seven and one with my NFL picks. Another capo went five and one. 17 and 6 overall in the Discord for NFL Sunday. Yesterday, we also had a good day overall. Three of our cappers, I went 3 for 3 on my NHL picks. Volo went 3 for 3 with his MLB picks. And Jordan, 4 of 5 with his MLB slash NHL slip. So definitely check out the private Discord with the link down below. It's less than a dollar per day. And if we can help you just win like one of those three pick slips for $5, it's going to pay for the entire month. So definitely check it out. Get in the Discord. We have more picks for me and a bunch of other cappers covering all sports over there, just posting our favorite picks. So let's get into this video. For Denver, we're going to start there. A underrated guy, I think, on the Denver offense is Devon Bailey, taking him over on 30 and a half receiving yards. He played in their first game, then missed like four or five games in a row and played in the last one. When he's been out there, he's been heavily targeted and has produced. So I think he's going to keep that going uh, for back-to-back -back weeks now. No reason why he shouldn't be out there. We can look at the Denver Broncos snap count. So Week one, he played 49% of the snaps. Week six, he played 62% of the snaps. Didn't play for four straight games here, but basically was like their number two, maybe even number one receiver in week six. So I actually really like him in this spot, in this matchup. Looking at Vele, in the two games he's played in, 39 yards, 78 yards in the last game. Looking at the targets, that first game, he caught eight of his eight targets. And then last game, he caught four of his six targets. Seeing eight and six targets is, you know, one of the most targeted receivers in this offense. We can also see that the Saints give up the 29th most receiving yards this season, 277 and a half of them. So a team you can definitely be passing on here. I'm liking to go to Vele here. You know, you could make an argument he's been their number one receiver when he's been in there with the amount of targets he's been getting. And I think we're getting a great line here. I'm going to be jumping on this one. And I think it's going to be a close game. And when it is these close games, Denver passes so much that I'm going to Javante Williams. He's been a huge part of their pass game here. You know, the receptions at three, I like, but three flat, you know, you're risking that push. I'd rather go to the targets here at three and a half. So if he gets, you know, four targets here and three catches, you're actually going to hit this one on the reception targets here at four. In any kind of close game, Denver has been throwing the piss out of the ball. I can show you what I mean over here, uh, taking a look at this one on outlier again. As far as the targets, so far this year, four of six games, he's gotten four or more targets, including six targets in each of the last two games. And we can see the percentage of passing plays that Denver does, 64% of their plays in week one were passing. And then 66 the second week. Last week against the Chargers, another 66% of their plays were passing plays. So, you know, they see a lot of targets as well. The New Orleans defense ranked 28th in the league, seeing 35 passing targets per game. So I think there's going to be plenty to go around for Javante Williams and Devon Vele here at pretty low line. So liking these two guys for the Denver Broncos. All right, next we're going to move on to the Saints here. For this one, I'm liking going to Spencer Rattler. I think he's going to have a big game. You know, probably not going to be playing mistake-proof football here. I like him on the interception, but they have the interception here as a goblin. So not going to be taking any goblins in this. But, you know, he's going to be throwing all over the place here. Definitely making some mistakes, but also making some big plays. I think 185 and a half for the passing yards. As long as Denver doesn't control the ball too much in this game, I think he's going to absolutely smash this one. We've posted this in the Discord when the lines were first coming out. We got this one at, I think, 179.5 in the Discord. Still liking it here at 185.5 for Rattler. I think he's going to be in line for another big passing game here. And we are expecting this to be a close one. So looking at Rattler... In his debut game, his debut start, he threw for 243 passing yards and threw the ball 40 times. So I think he's going to be throwing the ball 
a lot in this one and should be able to smash this line even without some of these receivers. So it is concerning. He's not going to have Olave. He's not going to have Rashid Shahid. So I think he's going to be throwing a lot to the tight ends and Kamara. I think these guys can make some plays. Tight ends looked pretty good last week for him. I think he's going to be heavily targeting those tight ends and Kamara in this, and they're going to be making some plays. So he'll be able to hit this yardage. So I like Rattler here, 185. And, you know, the Kamara line has been bumped up a bit already. And I think it may be a little high here for him. We, it's like 38 and a half right now. We could see Kamara's line go down. So for the video, I'm going to go somewhere else besides Kamara because I think his line's bumped up. I'm going to Juwan Johnson here. 26 and a half receiving yards. I think he's going to be heavily targeted, heavily used in this game. We saw him make some big plays for some big catches in their last game. Same with the other tight end, Foster Moreau. So I do kind of like both of these tight ends, but I like Johnson more. He's going to get more snaps, probably more targets and more catches. So I like him, him at this line here. Looking at Johnson on the snap count, you know, early in the season was seeing less than 50% of snaps the first three weeks, then 68, 79, 77% of the snaps in the last three weeks. So he's been getting ramped up. I think he's going to be a big part of this passing offense without some of their top receivers. You're looking at like Bub Means and Cedric Wilson and Mason Tipton to be getting the majority of the wide receiver snaps. So I'm liking the tight ends more. I still think Rattler can have a nice day passing to these tight ends and a Camara. So I'm going to be going there to Jawan Johnson. You know, Johnson, when given the snaps, he can produce. So we saw early in the season wasn't getting that many snaps for some reason. Now these past two weeks, he's gotten 31 and 48 yards. Last year, he was a much better receiving tight end, hitting this in 54% of games. And we saw his last four of the season. He went for 38 or more in each of the four. So looking at what he did at the end of last year and now where he's seeing more snaps, I'm liking Johnson with Rattler. And if you guys want more picks from me, plus a bunch of other cappers in all sports, you could see our last NFL Sunday we went 17 and six. My channel, I went seven and one. Volo went five and one. Here's our record for the picks. Also yesterday, a great day in the Dynamo Discord. I hit my NHL picks three for three. Volo hit his MLB, including a demon. And then Jordan went four for five on his picks, which is still going to be good for a double up here. You know, we've been cashing out people in the VIP. You can see Manny G hitting on some of our picks over here. So definitely get over here, check it out, the Dynamo Private Discord. It's going to be less than just putting $5 on some of those picks that we just showed you we hit in the Discord yesterday. And we have a bunch of cappers in there just posting their favorite picks in all sports. So get over there, lock in for the NFL. We got NBA coming up as well. And MLB, NHL, WNBA going on right now. So subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys over in the Discord.